Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday, the 30th of July, 2020, and the time has just gone 11.40 British summer time. On this week's Chart of the Week is the Australian dollar versus the US dollar. Uh, and if you take a look at the wider trend from late March uh, up until now, uh, we can see it's been a, a nice upward trend. And in fact, yesterday, the Australian dollar, US dollar, uh, hit its highest level since April 2019. So it's clearly uh, in a strong, very much uh, a bullish upward trend. Uh, we're currently trading in around zero spot, 71.41. If we do look to press on higher from here, we could be looking at, tar at uh, targeting zero spot 72. Uh, and if we go beyond that, uh, we could be heading up towards zero spot 73. And keep in mind, we haven't seen that area uh, since early 2019. So keep an eye out for those levels to the upside should the, uh, the bullish trend continue. Um, but if we do see a move to the downside, uh, where, where could we potentially um, encounter support? We could potentially encounter support in around where this line is here at zero spot 70, 31, or, or from there down to around zero spot 70 itself. Zero spot 70 is you know, it's a big number. Uh, so this band here of around 30 pips, the zone here could act as support should we have a move to the downside. Um, and even if you go below there, support could be found from this blue line here, the 50 day moving average. We can see a few months ago, um, back, in, back in April, the 50 day moving average in mid to late April acted nicely as both resistance and also as support. And if a metric has been important in the past, it makes it more likely it'll be of importance in the future, but obviously there are no guarantees. Uh, and even if you go below the 50 moving average in a zero spot 69.22, this zone here around zero spot 68, we can see on a few occasions um, in, in late May, early in, into early June, uh, and acted with some consolidation in around that area. So keep an eye out for that area as well. Now, if you are going to be trading uh, any of the Australian dollar crosses, uh, keep an eye out for what's going on in the in, in metals. The, the Aussie dollar, the Australian dollar, often gets referred to uh, as a commodity currency. You know, so it's the um, the movement of the currency often um, gets gets dictated uh, or moves in correlation um, with the movement of of metal prices because Australia is a large uh, exporter of, of minerals. So keep in mind that, you know, in the last couple of weeks, part of the reason why the Aussie dollar has been strong, uh, recently we've seen copper prices at their highest level since April in tw April 2019. Only yesterday we hit, um, very recently, we hit we saw platinum hit a five month high. And uh, not too long ago, silver hit its highest level since 2013. So metals are clearly strong. And that's part of the reason why the Australian dollar has been very strong recently. Also, uh, if you are going to be trading uh, the Australian dollar, US dollar, or any US dollar crosses, keep in mind that today at 1330 British summertime, we have the um, US advanced GDP reading for the, for the second quarter. And we also have um, the US jobless claims. That's all from this video. Thank you for listening. Stay safe and good luck.